Well, we were curious what would happen if the rover did find signs of life on Mars. For the answer, we went to Taylor Wong. In 1985, he became the first person of Chinese descent to fly into space as an astronaut aboard the space shuttle. He believes if curiosity finds life, enthusiasm for the U.S. space program will get a huge boost. Oh, absolutely. First thing you'd happen, you would know, is there will be enough people screaming, saying, we need more money in NASA. And NASA could use more money. Uh, what happened is there's a lot more enthusiasm to visit Mars again and for Mars landing and, and on and on. China has a planned uh, mission, uh, sending a probe to the moon. Uh, how important is that mission? And then uh, as a follow-up, what about uh, the possibility of China and the United States combining on some of these missions? They're very costly. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, China is, as China as a, you know, a nation for its pride and prestige, has to compete with in every front with all other countries in, in, the, in the world. Uh, I think what they're hoping to do is essentially establish themselves. They have the technology and everything. But in time, the collaboration with all the countries will be inevitable because, first of all, we need all the resources and we need essentially uh, it's all future missions will be very, very expensive. They'll, and so there's no reason whatsoever why they shouldn't collaborate. As a young guy, I suspect you were very excited about the uh, missions to the moon. Um, where did the U.S. space program go wrong, do you think? Uh, because it seems like that enthusiasm has just kind of vanished, hasn't it? It has. Uh, it was, you, if you remember, the Apollo program, the motivation, the objective of Apollo program was to beat the Russian. We had to beat the Russian and for national pride and prestige. And that was, you know, was universal, at least the whole country was supporting that. But they did not educate the public well enough is what is the long range goal of NASA. So therefore, when the Apollo program was successful, we met and put a man on the moon and we come back with a whole bunch of rocks. We said, all right, that's the grand finale. We've done it and uh, let's go home. So NASA suffered from that. Well, let's hope at this point uh, maybe they'll get inspired and excited and this mission will uh, fuel the next uh, sense of exploration. Uh, Taylor Wong, thank you so much for talking to us. Certainly appreciate it. You're welcome.